I V M. TFG Football is an IVM production, and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Simplified, a show that explains intense topic from around the world and simplifies it for you so that you can up your cooler in front of your friends. You're listening to TFG Football. Hello and welcome everyone. A new episode of the TFG Football Podcast is here and I'm your host, Siju. Now I have both the boys, Kevin and Sharanji, joining us via... Uh, no, one is here in the studio. I almost forgot that. <laughs> Sitting right in front of me and he's like, what is wrong with you, Siju? I'm right here. Sharanji is joining us via phone call. Now, yesterday we saw the match going about uh, for Torda Stadium, India vs Myanmar. Kevin? And almost uh, your ha- at the half time it looked it was the prediction was right two one, but it was a two all finally in the end. Uh, the winnings, I mean the momentum is there. We've not lost, but yesterday's match was as good as losing for me. So Kevin, your thoughts on the game? Shabby, shabby game from India. Really, uh, midfield was totally as if uh, Lindo was the only one who's playing there. What happened to the defense? You know, just uh, all of a sudden, uh, the defense that looked so strong and so solid all the while, really suddenly it, it felt like there's no coordination between the midfielder. Is it because of Borges? Now, <laughs> we've been talking about Borges and Lindo being so so good in the midfield. You know, even the, the combination was uh, perfect for India, and uh, so German Preet came in, and the changes that. Uh, uh, were brought about in, as, as in the starting eleven. Now, could that have been a, a change that you know India didn't? It didn't work out in India's favor. Not sure, but really, uh, we 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 could have scored almost three or four goals more than what the scoreline showed. In the end, uh, it's a it's a draw. We we didn't lose, uh, but it could have gone either way. Myanmar played excellent you know the, the way they could uh, get the ball and the counter attacks were so good they were just able to get the ball from their half into into our box you know all of a sudden so for me india is really you know all of a sudden looking years behind hmm. Now, naturally, the question what Kevin mentioned in the end, uh, I want to put it to you. Did the combinations go and backfire at us? Uh, I don't uh, think it's a, it's a combination problem to that extent. Of course, uh, you have uh, a new central midfielder in the mix, German Preet, who was not particularly bad, by the way. I, think, I thought his uh, sense of positioning was pretty good. Uh, but what you saw was uh, some sort of a rust. Uh, just remember the same defense uh, with with a little bit different midfield uh, had a very different performance against uh, uh, the first leg against Myanmar and uh, uh, Kyrgyzstan. But when they played against Macau, a similar sort of uh, you know semi catastrophe was uh, almost happening. You know they they conceded early because of uh, individual mistakes, right? And same thing happened this time. Literally in the first uh, minute, we conceded. I think it's a it's a uh, case of not turning up or uh, turning on early enough. Especially this happens when you don't play a friendly ahead of this qualifier game because uh, you know no matter how who you are playing, it, it's a qualifier. Somebody is trying to get into the Asian Cup. Uh, Myanmar uh, have all the owners to start strong. If we are not ready to uh, you know be there and take them on right from minute one, we're going to have to pay the price, and that's what happened. See. We just just noticed the pattern. I actually asked about uh, asked Constantine about this. He sort of evaded the question. Man, uh, Macau played a, a friendly before playing us in Bangalore, right. uh, and they did well in that. Same thing with uh, Myanmar. They just uh, played a friendly not so long ago. Hmm. We did not do any. They did a uh, camp, and we uh, turned up for this match. Yeah, I think there's a big big difference between uh, a camp. And match practice, and the part of that showed today. Um, and nothing to take away from uh, India's performance, though uh, we we were a bit unlucky. Uh, you know, we created enough chances. Uh, so many of them would have gone in another day. Uh, and uh, Constantine was also, I think, he was saying that JJ and Sunil could have scored hat tricks today, but could not take their chances. So that that's that's it happens on on uh, a day uh, this day or another day. We would have won had it not been for a couple of individual mistakes. Hmm. That's that's I think uh, you know the takeaway here. Hmm. And uh, two years unbeaten, you know, 
match we last time we lost a match was in the world cup qualifiers mm-hmm. back in uh, 2015 2016 we did not lose a match 2017 did not lose a match mm-hmm. that that's something Right. Coming back to you, Kevin. Uh, just like Siranjit mentioned, you know, uh, so the individual mistakes, yes, but on the other side, uh, do you see those friendlies that we could not play, or whether a game that we could not play, which we did follow up on every game, but even the last game we did not have a friendly before that. Do you think some game time, along with the team that the gets out there, was was that also a problem that this team did not play much before going into this big game? that is a point no not having played a game for a long time and just entering into the qualifiers uh, the other worry was because india has already qualified you know whatever you do you always have it in the so back of that, your mind did that get into the picture saying that could okay we already qualified could, could be matter. could be but uh, again uh, the communication the basic communication was lacking but compared to the first half second half was much much better the way india should have played uh yes the first half you know it it can be forgotten uh the way we conceded goals obviously yeah. it was you know um, l- the first minute you, you can never be prepared to concede a goal in the first minute but uh there was a reaction from india and uh, we could get back uh, what we lost to myanmar in the first half we you know we covered it in the second half so it wasn't all that bad but uh, all of a sudden uh, when you see a team who's been putting up strong performances against teams like kyrgyzstan all of a sudden this makes you feel that uh, have we lost it hmm. now coming uh, second to you itself before chirangit comes in here kevin do you think what could like if, now the coach now i mean you can't always have your playing 11 right there uh, always fit things will happen and he will have to experiment with this so what can he improve on this and what is as a coach's take away from this game as uh, firstly is uh, the calendar needs to be sorted so that there is enough game time at least a friendly if possible if not against any national side at least play against the local or, or domestic side if possible now that does give you the confidence if you, know, you are making the mistakes between transitions and from attack to defense and defense to attack so you get those things sorted but uh, practice doesn't give you that practice is only about you know what tactics you can apply yeah. so this is where a practice match comes handy you know your mistakes can happen you you gauge your performances before you actually play hmm. chiranjit coming to you how was the post match press conference what are the reactions from the coach Oh, well, everybody, uh, JJ and Constantine showed up. Uh, they uh, pretty much covered all the basic parts, uh, including that comedy moment uh, in added time when India got the golden opportunity, that indirect free kick inside the box. Ah. And as soon as that, we forgot that he was su- he's supposed to get another touch on the ball. I don't know what was he thinking. Uh, what was he thinking that someone someone from the Myanmar uh, defense will try to get a touch on that? I don't know. That was. I don't know. I don't know. I think he just uh, forgot. Yeah. It, it can happen in the heat of the moment. It, it was can. a very unusual <laughs> situation actually to get get an indi- indirect free kick over there. I think it's penalty mode to cover. <laughs> like yeah, I just put it into the back of the net. But no, it's not given. No, it, w- it was uh, more like a free kick taken, but then uh, he forgot it was inside. It was a back pass and indirect. Yeah, he just he just needed to just get one more extra touch and then put it in. But uh, what to do? Uh, everybody considered that the referee made the right decision. Uh, other than that, uh, it, it's I mean uh, I'm I'm a bit. Uh, see one of the things uh, that i i just want to uh, move uh, mention before we listen to the uh, listen to what the coach and jj said see this uh, with, you know, whether we lost it you know uh, that comes from a performance uh, like this i think i don't think we ha- uh, we have because uh, the team looks stable even constantine is not uh, you know uh, he's not experimenting too much he's starting stable uh, starting 11s uh, i think he has found his men Uh, that are going to take uh, take him uh, at least into the champions cup uh, next year so yeah it's it, it looks like they still have the spirit because after they made those mistakes after they conceded the second goal which was again gurpreet had a bad moment there uh, it, it it looked like they got whipped back into shape okay it's like it's like uh, i i remember uh, previous national teams they concede two against a team like Myanmar sometimes that psychological block used to come into play and they, they would not be able to perform in the second half chasing a game and losing was sort of a uh, you know natural state of being for them this team does not do that 
they go down they quite right back and and i saw that uh in the uh, in yesterday's match and and that's what makes me think that you know that this this no need to cry that everything has gone to dust uh, i think i think this team can still do well all right now i think it's time to hear from the gaffer and jj what they had to say about uh, after the game uh, so let's listen into the both of them another unbeaten year is this the best calendar year in your coaching career No, I had uh, some some good times in Cyprus. Seventeen uh, games unbeaten, um, nine games unbeaten. Um, at the moment, it's 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 the best um, for me because I'm here with this team, and I think after all the nonsense that has been written, um, the players showed 100% that um, they are ready to play and and, and do the work. And um, I think it was a game where we could have scored. Five or six, um, we missed enough chance to win two games. Uh, but okay, uh, Myanmar fought hard. We knew they would. We started off a little sloppy, um, and uh, we paid for that. But in the end, uh, I thought the boys uh, were fantastic. The work rate was super. And on another day, we win this game four five two. Coach, uh, what are your thoughts on the goal that was disallowed against Iran? Play the indirect penalty. Well, he has to touch the ball. The ball doesn't have to travel uh, the whole circumference of the ball, but the ball must be touched. I didn't think he touched it at the time. He's just told me he didn't touch it, so perfectly good decision. Unfortunate, but okay. Sorry. Yes. Could have been more accurate in this penalty chance. Yeah, but um, that is the job of the striker. They get a lot of chances. Sometimes they score a lot. Sometimes they don't. I think in this game, Sandesh could have had a hat trick. Uh, JJ could have had a hat trick, and Sunil could have had a hat trick, and we'd have won nine two. But it, it doesn't happen. And um, okay, uh, you you cannot say uh, Sunil didn't didn't play because he didn't score. It, it didn't go his way today. But um, he scored plenty of goals for us in the past, so no complaints. Coach, what what did you think about conceding in less than 20 seconds? No, well, it actually reminded me of the game with uh, Oman. We conceded in less than 15 seconds. Um, we have this bad habit of starting uh, very slow, uh, casual even. We were lucky we didn't pay for it this time, and against better teams, we will pay for this. Uh, so we have to be. Um, we talked about this before the game. We talked about this um, in the team meeting, uh, even in the change rooms. We've got to start quickly. We've got to start quickly. We know they need uh, uh, to get the three points. Um, we started sloppy and we paid. JJ is here, by the way. Yeah. Coach, uh, in the last uh, against uh, Myanmar in the first leg and Kyrgyzstan, the same difference uh, to the stone fast and uh, to really good uh, clean sheets. Mm. And uh, against Macau, you know, uh, errors led to conceding and same thing happened this time. And both before the Macau game and uh, this game, you did not play a uh, uh, prepared differently match. Is there a correlation? Um, I, th- I think that um, we sometimes have this bad habit of playing to the level of our opponent. Um, we know um, 10 times out of 10 we will beat Macau. Nine times out of 10, let's say. We know that when we play, we can beat Myanmar. Um, and I think we don't know if we're going to beat Kyrgyzstan. We don't know if we're going to beat Oman. But we don't have that 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 confidence sometimes. And sometimes we get a little bit overconfident. Uh, and I think uh, today was a, a a good example of this. Um, we we just. Um, Look, we've already qualified. Um, it was a must-win for Myanmar. It wasn't a must-win for us. Uh, had it been a must-win for us, I think we would have seen a different, different performance. But we still could have scored nine goals. Question for Jiji. Now you're about to start the IS, and so in terms of your preparations, uh, you had a good game. You know, you're almost going to top the group. So I heard the news is how are you looking at the new season of the ISL, especially with the the love and the game all that. Yeah, <coughs> about today game we could have done better, and uh, this uh, 
ask you at home and uh, we have winter months, but uh, this is football and it's happened. Um, but we need to concentrate on what a mi mi mistake and uh, and uh, right now we have a long break for the international team. Um, I said we going to come up, I hope we do well and we need to take cricket from the ISL uh, to the national team. Did, did you have an eye on the new season, especially since the uh, present comfortable situation for India? Did the players have an eye on the season ahead, the ISL season? Yeah, right. <laughs> Go ahead. Was it for me or for him? Go on, you go first. Okay. okay. Um, no, I think uh, today I can't say that the boys were thinking about anything other than the job at hand. Um, they absolutely worked their socks off. It didn't go for us in certain situations. Uh, as we said before, just a lot of chances, but they gave everything. Um, and I have absolutely no complaints. Uh, I, I think, um, as I've said many times before, I think this is one of the best teams, if not the best team India has ever had. We are 12, ne 12 games, 13 games now unbeaten. Um, 14. Okay, 14, and we're 18 from 20. I, I, I have said uh, um, previously that in, in one particular game I thought we took our foot off the break, um, but I cannot say that today. I thought the boys were magnificent. Yes, uh, good day, sir. Like I said before, you have no break in the international game, but you need to concentrate on a game like a fitness. Whenever you play for the ASL, like Chennai, I play for Chennai, some play, I play for Goa, or some play Delhi. We need to consider our fitness and when you come back for a national team, I need to improve for whatever we do in the club and we need to improve our fitness. Jimmy, going from the national team to the club side, uh, what's the kind of adjustments do you think you'll have to make, especially because Jimmy is a very new team? Yes, right now this year is my ten year in professional career, but I don't have me. I don't have any problem to go like uh, from here to there. Uh, I play under so many coaches, so I need to adjust uh, as soon as uh, I can. And I think uh, I need to adapt soon. The last one, uh, Jesse, could you take us through that moment where uh, the team record was going to write uh, Did you all realize quick enough because uh, we saw the bench? Protesting a bit, but Chetty did not really protest over there. Just take us through that ball. The ball? Yeah. Well, it wasn't a goal. In that, in that, in that yeah, I think uh, the ball was added to the ball, and I think they saw the goal. So. I think you won it. Yeah. What did you all feel at that time? Yes, uh, at that time we did the goal, but uh, I think Rafi did a great decision, so I had a complaint. <laughs> Well, that was the two gentlemen talking about the post-match, uh, uh, the post-match press conference there, and now it's time for us to sort of slip into a short break. On the other side, we have finally we have I League fixtures in our hands, and we can talk about them. But uh, we're not just going to talk about oh, it, the fixtures look good and all, but it's going to be a rant because there, there were many many reactions coming up because due to the timings and various other things. So now it's about for us to talk about it. But we have to slip into a short break. We'll come back soon. Over 47% of online users in India have experienced harassment at some point. So if it's two of us inside this recording studio, chances are pretty high that one of us has faced abuse at some point. How do we tackle this? What do we need to do better? Come, let's learn together. Join me on Akanksha Against Harassment at IVM Podcast every Thursday. Let's learn how to make online a safe place together. So 25th November it is. We are back in the from the break and we have finally have for you the I League fixtures and as I said 25th November it is. It starts but the timings are ridiculous. I mean it's insane. Kevin who plays at 2 p.m. man? Like 2 p.m. They are going to make the under 17 team play at 2 p.m. Under seventeen, under nineteen, under 19, under 19. Arrows, even the senior, even the senior guys. What is and the going places on? and the places are like it's held as Coimbatore, Kori Court, I mean, or Calicut, or you want to call it. Those are places known to roast you at that yeah. time. I mean, what are you trying to do? Chirindip? This is even worse than the Federation Cup fixtures that was <laughs> oh, in Qatar in May. Yeah, I mean, four five thirty is okay. Five pm is still fine. But what is two pm? Chirindip, what is going on, man? I mean, anyway, yeah, I League well, was getting a stepmotherly treatment. This is like, abhi jao, bhaad mein jao. 
Oh, this is this is uh, they're making it blatant now. They're not trying to hide it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, we we knew that. Uh, and by the way, this is this is nothing. None of this is uh, new information. None of this is hitting us by surprise. We knew that we were going to have two PM uh, matches, uh, and so so remember when uh, you know I, I'm pretty sure the plans had been drawn out for this a long time ago. They released the fixtures now, but the time 2 p.m. time slot was discussed and agreed upon a very long time ago uh, in the in the uh, ranks of IMG Reliance, and I'm pretty sure the players were told that when when the you know, IMG Reliance approached them for the draft, ki, uh, either play uh, play in I, uh, ISL, or either sign up for the draft, or or you will be playing in 2 p.m. on a weekday, you know. Uh, last we played, we saw exhibition matches being played in uh, uh, at 2 p.m. was when uh, you know that that 2012-13 season was the last time that happened, uh, and uh, but that was uh, following uh, IPL taking over the Salt Lake Stadium for their song and dance opening ceremony because they couldn't do it on a on a like theater or something. They had they needed where the football is played that that stadium, uh, and uh, after after that. They moved all the matches to uh, Kalyani, and uh, we had weekday 2 p.m. fixtures. And and I saw people falling sick. Hmm. I saw people falling totally sick in the stadium. Uh, an old man almost got a sunstroke. Uh, the players were knackered. How can you play in in in, in 2 p.m.? Yeah. It, it does it does it make sense to anybody? But uh, see, uh, I I actually had thought that. They would keep the 2 p.m. fixtures uh, in uh, in Imphal and Isol hmm. because uh, those stadiums don't have floodlights. Hmm. But what is the point of giving 2 p.m. fixtures in Ludhiana, Coimbatore, Kolkata, Salt Lake Stadium? Mohan Bagan are playing Isol FC. That's a, that's a Tuesday 2 p.m. That's number one team versus number two team in the league in the country. Yeah, that is yeah. 2 p.m. They 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 just trying. Trying blatantly to make sure that as few people see I League as possible. Okay, they mm. will not show a single bit of advertisement. They will try to push the matches to Star uh, Star Sports first, which you know nobody has that channel anyway. Uh, whenever they can, they will push it there. They will just just try to make sure. Just uh, look look how how the ISL is starting and how the I League is starting. ISL is starting with uh, ATK versus. Uh, Kerala Blasters. Hmm. They wanted to do the. They wanted to do the opening ceremony in Kolkata, simply to give ATK some mileage. You know, they, it would it would uh, be broadcasted everywhere. Hey, hey, look, so many people came to see ATK, uh, and uh, and you know, uh, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan won't have that kind of support, etc., uh, etc. Et they moved it to Kerala. Still, it's a blockbuster opening. Hmm. And you know where, where what they're starting the I League with? Minerva Punjab. Mohan Bagan in mm. Ludhiana. Of course, you know that nobody is going to turn up in Ludhiana. At 2 p.m. <laughs> a, yeah. A, it's not their hometown. Minerva Punjab don't have any uh, presence in uh, Ludhiana and, uh, and, and they messed up. They they could not renovate their uh, uh, stadium in Chandigarh. So that's gone to shit. And it's Saturday 2 p.m. Yeah. Who's going to turn up at, at a 2 p.m. game? Right? And then, then I League disappears till Monday. Hmm. I mean, they just they they pushed the league to weekdays. They pushed it to two p.m. This is this is just just basically pissing on a grave. You know that that's what it seems like. Because I think we know it's 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 gonna be gone. But in the in the process, you're doing damage to the clubs. Yeah. By treating them like this, yeah. you don't need to care about I League. You just have to care about clubs and and what yes. sense to their yeah. brand when you make them do this. Exactly. It's a mockery. Nothing else. It's just a mockery of the players. Of it. it it's done by the top uh, the the Federation of India. Uh, the football federation this is what the treatment is given to the players these young players we're talking about an under under 17 world cup team that just appeared in the in the biggest tournament of their lives and this is what you're going to be treating them it's not just the under 17 or under 19 players it's all about your top division in the country if you cannot get the audience to the stadium you always have to at least guarantee take 
at least give it a watch on the t- television because not everybody can travel not everybody can move from place to places you create a culture where that's developing that's already in place you know it's happening and then you cut off everything and just give all the limelight to ISL yeah. dude dude you know what you know what this is since since uh, you know 2012 onwards i league has actually gotten more and more popular every season exactly okay this is an effort to cut that short yeah you know the rating is improving i think the last season was uh, the most popular season yet yeah uh, and i league was garnering uh, international attention so that 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 they could not have so they had to cut it off uh, indian arrows by the way they they don't know where they're going to do the first match because it's they're supposed to do it at ambedkar stadium but somebody else had already booked ambedkar stadium for uh, for the, for the few weeks uh, early into december i think and uh, so now they they don't know where they will do the first uh, indian arrows home match against chennai city they might have to uh, move it to a lesser stadium or uh, they will end up uh, doing it later so see it's it is it is reeks of lack of planning or planning to do do it all badly you know it's it's either either, either they're completely inefficient or they are uh, you, know, you know they have they are efficient in their malice towards this league this just shows that i mean they didn't care for anything they're just doing it for the sake of doing it so sab pooch rahe hain league hai top division mein naam bhi hai chalo kar dete hain who cares yeah, by the way, by the we, way don't. we don't know we don't know how many matches will get on television yeah even that. that even that okay, i was and, coming to that and the and the and the i was talking to some uh, aif people recently they they said that the 2 pm uh, slot i mean recently meaning uh, last couple of days they said the uh, 2 pm slot may be uh, to you know just so that uh, the matches can get on tv without clashing with isl okay uh, it doesn't uh, you know it doesn't make sense at all that uh, isl has, sorry star sports has uh, so many yeah, channels so and uh, they can't find they, they can show they can show like uh, cricket reruns on every single one of them but can't show two football matches at the same time exactly uh, but even 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 if if that's the case Uh, is because uh, you want to put it on TV. That's why you're going to do it at 2 p.m. They, why why haven't we heard from uh, Star Sports yet that yeah. yes they are going to put it on TV? Yeah, there's no there's no advertising at all. If it's 25th November, I mean it's just one two weeks away from now. There is no advertising. There's nothing. So by the way, by the way, this is probably the the uh, the least amount of time the clubs have been given before they play a match because. Last season, it was the uh, worst record. The uh, the fixtures and teams were announced uh, 12 days before the league starts. This time, it got announced 11 days before the league yeah, starts. That's that's a new record. I mean, who, 11 11 days. Imagine any any league in the world, any professional league. A professional league gets announced 11 days before it starts. I hope at the moment and nobody's uh, looking at Indian football. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by so the much. way, no, no, no. By the way, by the way, they're gonna do this. They're gonna do. Uh, they're gonna announce fixtures 11 days before the league starts. Then they're gonna say, "Hey, look, nobody is uh, interested in I League. Mm-hmm. How can they be if they don't know which teams are playing, where, where the playing? matches are happening, yeah, yeah wh- wh- when it's happening, which channel is showing it?" And and this is the reason uh, the I League clubs don't get good sponsorship because they don't have enough time. The ISL teams have their fixtures in hand three months ahead. Uh, they know that all the matches will be on TV. Now these clubs, as uh, Ranjit Bajaj was saying, these clubs will go to sponsors and uh, ask for uh, sponsorship, and that sponsor will. Okay, uh, w- when is the match happening? They have no idea. Which channel will be showing it? They have no idea. How many advertisements uh, will go out from the channels part to uh, promote the league? Zero. So yeah, that that's what this is. I mean, can we get any worse than this? As in, this can be a good specimen of paper to show. How do you do things wrong and how very not to bad? do things? Yeah. <laughs> like, so this is uh, uh, the wrong. If it's if it's a, uh, I mean, if it's inefficiency, that's that's a saving grace. But I don't think this is inefficiency. Of course this not. Is, this, this is being done deliberately. Exactly. Uh, by the way, East Bengal have uh, East Bengal have uh, written to AIFF that uh, like, why are we being forced to play at 2 p.m. a Uh, B. Why are we being made to play three away matches within seven days? Mm. Who does that? Three yeah, away matches within seven days. Who does that? 
AIFF they were I mean, shown who does yeah, it this, yeah. <laughs> I mean when you, when you yeah, look at way, when you look at the same yeah. team I mean the same I mean it won't be the same core team but of course there'll be similar faces who are working at the top notch who worked so well for your hosting your world cup uh, in your country mm. and getting all the people and then get, taking all the credit for hosting having a good time and you've already earned that spot of seeing footballing nation and then you're like oh when you come to the top division league which you call it that's what you call it but you have there is nothing to do with with it you know they're not giving that name for it there's no meaning to the name it's just there for the sake of it and you're just giving a step motherly treatment even worse than that i mean there is no importance no significance if not for anyone at least for the teams that are playing i mean you don't want to care about the fans okay but at least for the teams and the players that are playing because you are giving it all out on the pitch you've got so many players from minerva's academy you've got this academy as all well, shillong or whatever mm-hmm. there is no respect there there's no giving back to them that's how it looks over yeah there. by the way by the way if you're going to do 2 pm uh, kickoffs why not move most of them to sunday because there's no isl match happening at sunday 2 pm Yeah. Right. The the Kolkata Derby is on uh, is on Sunday 2 p.m., which I think is a good slot to have. Uh, we had 2 p.m. Uh, Kolkata Derby before, and uh, those those things used to sell out. So that's okay. But that works on a Sunday. It doesn't work on a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. You know, and and there are there are way more 2 p.m. matches in weekdays than there are uh, in in on on uh, this thing on Sundays. The only only team that will have a problem with playing on a Sunday is Aizawl FC because uh, it's it's a Christian minded club. They don't want to work on Sunday, but everybody else wants to play on Sunday. You know, every other club literally. So why have they not been given a Sunday slot? And why are they being made to play uh, on on a Wednesday and Thursday? Yeah, even at 2 PM? I mean, even even if that, even if it's a telecast or on a weekday, who's sitting at home to watch at a 2 PM kickoff? It'll be so much more difficult. I yeah, mean, you will be at you school. You can't blame them. At, yeah, and, and so many, so many of these. Uh, you know, I'm just talking about the East Bengal and Mohun Bagan fan base. The fan clubs dominated by college and school kids. It's all youth. It's mm. a youth movement. The new new ultra culture that's that's coming up in Indian football. and you are were doing it uh, at that that time slot just make sure that they can neither watch it on tv nor show up at the match because they will have to be as well even if you have an office you can't show up at the match it is just it just shuts people out from seeing it and so, and i think they would just pre- uh, you know prefer if if uh, you know the, the i league just sinks Yeah. Under the ocean, and yeah. nobody really knows its existence anymore. Exactly. I mean, that's the right way to put it. Even what Sirajit mentioned, this is what it comes out. It summarizes to this: because they saw some great, great uh, viewership uh, on present. I mean, the ones who came out and. when you came out and watched the game live or huge amount of uh, turnout that's what they want to pull back and i look it definitely looks like that that's how it, that's what it looks like you know they don't want that limelight on i league so like okay let's do this so we slowly know this will die anyway it's going to die so let's kill it slowly you know it's ridiculous closing thoughts kevin painful that to i league and uh, this is not how a farewell to the league should be yeah absolutely obviously now uh, this is clear indication that next year we we might not even see the i league painful death that's you know what, what you know what at, at this point aise karne se acha nahi karo nahi karo that was better exactly. don't have it just announce and saying we are not yeah. having i league nobody well, would know i league that's it yeah. that's it and and uh, let, let fifa come in and punish you for that then. i think yeah. i think yeah. that would have been that. better <laughs> to take in the punishment rather than just looking at somebody die so no, badly yeah. they would have suspended take the consequences yeah. they would have suspended <laughs> india they, yeah. so they they can't they don't dare do shut i league because uh, fifa will suspend them if they suspend i think the we need division. that lesson we need that learning only then we would learn i mean we are right now in so much of everybody we are sitting on everybody in, on top of everyone's head you know because you know uh, the limelight is on us the for all the right reasons as they've done but this is not how you do it man i mean <laughs> it's just stupid and ridiculous yeah, I hope, that's all i, I, I have hope, to say i know at this point it looks like I League is in a coma, and and you just seeing yeah. seeing I League have going through death throes, yeah, and that's what we will literally see as a today. As this is November. <laughs> in, imagine in February. Imagine in February and March, people playing at 2 p.m. Uh, in in Kolkata, yeah. in Coimbatore, in in Ludhiana, wherever it is, it's it's gonna it's gonna kill the players. Yeah, it's more and, like. And what, Yeah, yeah yeah so it, it turns out as you said i just want to continue on that point so i league is in coma and next year it will be okay abhi ventilator pe hai so i think so no no use paying yeah. the bills of the uh, hospital let's uh, pull the plug yeah yeah basically yeah. it's not breathing so let's just take it off very bad situation i mean uh, this is this comes just after 
having so much of halabulu over indian football and whatever the stuff that you want to call it but i still don't buy that uh there's a long 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 way to go for india to be on top notch footballing terms for me as 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 it goes uh because this is what it shows i mean you just don't care about the leagues the teams you don't simple basic thing give the respect that's what you're not doing here by you know scheduling such uh, ridiculous uh, fixtures now that's all from us uh, we can go on and on talking about this but uh, there wouldn't be much uh, effect for us <laughs> for anyone for that matter but we will continue doing that on twitter <laughs> since the character limits also have increased i think our rants also go about by then uh, and if you listen to us on youtube please do like share subscribe hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates uh, let us know your thoughts uh, you can g- give it down on the comment section below follow the tfg football to handle for everything all the updates related to indian football also read about all these stories on our website the fangrass.com you can talk to us directly as well uh, chiranji toja bosa and usko kevin sujit mathew 94 have a great day folks come back to us tomorrow hopefully we'll have something to fun and nice to talk about another rant have a great day cheers That was Tantrik Steve from Hansraj College, Delhi, performing at IIT Bombay's Mood Indigo. Just like them, there's a lot of new talent and art coming out of colleges all across India. But unfortunately, most of this goes completely unnoticed or ignored. To fix this, we started ATKT.in. Hi, I'm Ankur. I'm a musician and a rapper. And I found that one of the best things about being an artist myself is finding new talent. Through ATKT.in, Tanya, my colleague who's a dancer, and our whole team really is putting all of our efforts into discovering and promoting all the coolest talent that's coming out of colleges all across India. And this goes up on our website, our social media, TV, radio, and now of course, this podcast with IVM. Make sure you go to our website, support the talent with your likes, your shares, your comments. All of that really matters. Go ahead, check it out. ATKT.in. Good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking sorry to say but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun as you can see there's death destruction and chaos taking place all around us but don't you worry food and drinks will be served shortly and i would recommend checking out IVM podcasts to get some of your favorite indian podcasts we'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over thank you